There's just a lot of game developers who find themselves with a question mark. Is Unity worth using on my big game? In this video, I'm gonna talk about why Unity can be the right engine to go with coming up right now. Hey what's up guys, it is Psycho or Sam here and welcome back to my channel and today I'm here with a brand new commentary video where I'm gonna be talking about if Unity can be used for professional game developers. Before we start, I just want to thank you guys so much for all the support that I've been receiving for the past couple of months actually because it's been a lot of growth on my channel. So I just wanted to thank you guys first and foremost for that and if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that subscribe button because there's a lot of these type of videos that are coming up on my channel as well as level designs and more and also hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and let's Let's get started with this. So recently a lot of people have been talking about why they are switching to Unreal Engine from Unity. This has also raised some question marks for some indie developers such as can Unity be used for making big games? I want to make a video discussing this issue and give my two cents on what you should expect from Unity if you're planning to use it. First and foremost, Unity is a great engine. If you hear someone saying Unity sucks, don't believe them. That's, a bi that's as biased as me saying Unreal Engine sucks. If Unity was absolutely horrible, it would not be the most popular game engine out there. Now, I'm not trying to throw Unreal Engine or any other game engine for that matter under the bus. I'm just saying that all these game engines are good and that's the primary reason to why they are also popular. The simple and short answer to the big question of this video is yes. The more advanced answer is yes again because Unity is capable of doing what most other engines can do. Unity can be used to create 2D games, mobile games, platformers, and whatnot, but it can also be used for, to create 3D professional games. This can be open world, FPS, TPS, RPGs, whatever you desire to make. These can be high quality games with astonishing graphics or cartoon games. Unity won't limit you. It won't tell you that your game looks too beautiful and downgraded for you. Neither will Unreal Engine do that. It's more up to how much you want to use your creativity in order to make a game either beautiful or not. If you have started with Unity and you're on the point of switching to Unreal Engine or any other engine for that matter, ask yourself why. Why are you wanting to switch? What's holding you back from making your game in Unity or vice versa? What's going bad? Then do your research by using your question as the premise. I guarantee you that 99% of the time you'll be able to find a solution and that goes as good for Unity as it does for UE4 and other engines. That's because all these engines have been developed under highly competitive scenes. They can't just let you leave them. That's why they've been developed as far as competing to each other. If your main point of leaving Unity or UE4 is poor graphics, you should take a look at your image effects and your sceneries. Are you using lights and shadows properly? Are your image effects contributing to your scenes? Have you optimized your game? There are just so many factors that will play a huge role when you're creating the graphics for your game, is what I like to call it. You can't just say, oh, this engine is bad, that's why the graphics are bad. You can use an incredibly good engine yet manage to make a horrible game. It's more about you than what it is about the engine. If Unity was poorly developed and honestly did not support high graphics, I would say that I can understand you. For example, if you use RPG Maker and want to make an advanced 3D game, I can tell you to switch because the engine is not built for that. Hence the reason you would not be able to make a professional game on that specific engine. But Unity is built, however, for 3D games and it's a big competitor in the game industry being the most popular engine. It doesn't just let you down like that. For example, look at Firewatch. Yes, it has cartoonish models, but that does not downgrade its visuals. It's still an astonishing game with incredible voice acting and visual quality. What I'm hinting at is the fact that model quality, image effects, and such visual tools in game engines are not equivalent to a good game. You must make sure that everything else in your game suits your current theme. The developers of Firewatch ensured to use all these techniques, combine them, and made an incredible game. That's something you can do as well, because they didn't use magic to do it, they used Unity. And that's just one example through thousands. If you have not started with Unity and you're in the middle of picking between Unity or another engine, I can't really tell you what to do as a command, but I can tell you what you should start off by doing as a suggestion. Place the thought of making a game on the desk for a while and gain some experience in both of these engines. Learn them and make sure to thoroughly try and understand the concept of workflow behind those engines because that's going to play a huge role under the period of time you will be developing your game. If you dislike the game engine's workflow itself, you'll either use it to a point where you completely change your mind and start liking it or you won't enjoy your time with it. And that's not something you should experience while making a game. That being said, spend time in both of them and see for yourself which one suits you the most. 
As an example for me, Unity has always had the upper hand because of its workflow. I just find it so much easier to get into it and develop whatever I want. Unreal Engine has a fairly simple workflow too, but my opinion is biased because I've used Unity for far longer than what I've used UE4, meaning it takes time for me to get used to UE4's workflow. I blame UE4 for its blueprint, which is a good system, don't get me wrong, but I dislike it because I'm a programmer and feel no need of opening it up to make something. If I spend a lot of a lot more time on the engine, I'm sure that I will find a way to comp compensate for that. That is if the engine supports it, obviously. But for now, I'm really happy with Unity. I'm going to develop some games here and there, and I'm gonna do that first and foremost with Unity, and then I'll move on to Unreal Engine just to gain some a little bit of that experience that I need. But as a simple answer to the question, can Unity be used for professional games? Yes, it can be very well used for professional games as well as small games. It's more about the artist, developer, whatever, rather than the software itself. If you know what you're doing and what you want from it, you'll be able to do it. The game engine you're going to use, in this case Unity, is a tool. It's a tool for you to move forward and create what you want easier than what you would have done without it. If you use it correctly, you can make something astonishing whether it be the best engine out there or not. Start off by learning Unity if you haven't already and get into making some simple and short games. Those games don't have to be published, they're just the results of you practicing your skills with the engine. With the amount of simplicity and quality Unity has to offer, you can for sure make something incredible with it. But that's pretty much what I have to say about this topic guys. I hope you all enjoyed this video and perhaps found it helpful. If you did, make sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe if you want to watch more content like this video. And also let me know in the comment section below if you think that Unity can be used for professional games. IMO, it's a really good engine that has to offer a lot to whoever wants to use it, but a lot of people have been misusing it for the past years. So if you use it correctly, IMO, you can actually create something that is very, very good. But anyway, guys, once again, I hope you all enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, I would appreciate it if you hit that like button down below and subscribe if you want to stay up to date for new videos coming soon. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.